if point B is chosen on AC, what is the probability that negative 5 is less than or equal to B is less than or equal to 7? So it's asking if B is uh, some point chosen on this segment, what are the chances in it's in between here? Who can help us with this? Yeah. Yeah. So in between point A and or in between negative twenty and five, it was fifteen. In between negative five and seven, it was twelve. And then in between seven and ten, it was three. So uh, all those add together is fifteen. And then um, I just subtracted fifteen. I just subtracted twelve from thirty. So all of them added together equals 30, you mean? Yeah. yeah. And then how many work? How, many, how, much, how much of it works? 12. 12 works out of 30. Now, here's my question, though. This is why I want to talk about this problem. Are there really only 30 numbers? No. Because of decimal. Yeah. What about negative 5.7? So do we have to go 31 because of 5.7? Oh wait, then 5.8. Yeah. So is there no answer then? Really? Well, okay. Yeah, so, so if there's a lot of numbers in between say negative 5 and negative 6 so are there between negative 5 and negative 4 right so in this there's a lot more too yeah well let's just let's think about this logically doesn't make sense for there to be an answer to this problem I mean, well, let, let me ask it this way. I, if I really literally did, like I was blindfolded and I just picked a point randomly, should the answer be zero? That the probability, there's no probability that I'll be between negative five and seven. That doesn't make sense. Should the probability be one? That it's guaranteed to be in between negative five and negative seven. No, so there is, there is some probability between. I agree with this answer. What makes it complicated though, is what if we did be cho uh, chosen on the line AC? How does that change things? Yeah. Right. No more numbers on the bottom, or more, more numbers in the on the top for the probability. On the bottom, right? In fact, how many numbers are there on the bottom? There are infinitely many numbers on the bottom. How many numbers are there on the top? I mean, be between negative 5 and 7. So what would the probability be then? If I, s if I picked the entire line and you picked one point, what are the chances that it's going to be between negative 5 and 7? Is it 0 then? Very small. Very small. Is it very small? Yeah. Or is it 0? So this is a good point. This is a very good point that there should be the same number of numbers between negative 5 and negative 4 as there is between negative 5 and negative 6, right? So that same number of numbers can just simplify out. It can reduce out. So that really helps us solve that first question. Now for the second question, if I, don't, if I give you the entire s line to choose from, not just the segment, you're choosing these numbers 
out of infinitely many numbers. What's the probability that you're actually going to choose between here and here? Now, how many numbers are there in between negative 5 and 7? More than 12. There's infinitely many between negative 5 and 7. There's infinitely many. How many are there on the blue? Infinitely many. So what's infinitely many divided by infinitely many? Is it one? Is it zero? It's one. Are there different kinds of infinitely many? Are there some infinitely many that's bigger than others? Yes. Yeah. Are there? Do you believe them yeah. or her? So, well, can someone give me an example? If there really are, if there really are different types of infinitely many, can someone give me an example of one infinite that's bigger than another infinite? Yeah? Those aren't infinitely large, though. I know. It's like... What about, what about if, we, if we count the integers? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many integers are there? No, just like in general. How many integers are there? There are infinitely many integers. We call that countable infinite, which means I can literally count them. One, two, three, four. I'll never get to all of them but I can still count them. When we talk about the real numbers, we're not, we're not just going from one to two, we're going from one to the, you know, the next smallest fraction, but we can't really come up with the next smallest fraction because there's one in, in there. That's uncountable infinity. So there's actually different kinds of infinity. Some with more numbers than the others, yeah? How, how, Help, help us see that connection. What do you, what do you mean? How? Shh. Hold up. I'm, I'm not sure what you mean. Shh. Guys, excuse me. Excuse me. I mean, a, a, a day lasts longer on some planets just based on how quickly it rotates. So, at least in terms of this question, I don't think it's zero, but I think it's really, really small. And I think it actually is probably infinitely small. But there is still a probability that you'd get negative in between negative 5 and 7. Um, that probability is just very, very <laughs> unlikely because there's a whole lot more numbers that you could pick that would be outside of that range.